everybody, it's your girl Miss Ish coming at you again with a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I prepare my tamales for the holidays. I will be making three separate kinds of shredded beef, chicken, and also cheese and jalapenos. There are several ingredients that you will need, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, now for my choice of meat, I've chosen a beef chuck roast and also three bags of chicken breast tenderloins. For the cheese and jalapeno tamales, I've also chose uh, some Monterey Jack cheese, one pepper jack cheese, and then one big bag of the Mexican style blended cheese. I also have my pre-made masa that um, I'm going to be using later on in the video. And then I have two cans, one can of enchilada sauce, mild, and one can of red chili sauce. Okay, it's up to you if you want them hot or not. I get mild because I don't want them to be too spicy. Now, I also have my three bags of my corn husk, um, which I'll be explaining what to do with those in a little while as well. Now, for my choice of seasoning, I'm going to be using my Malibu seasoning, a butcher's I think this is called a butcher seasoning for steaks and different things of that nature. I also have garlic salt and then let's see what this is. Chicken seasoning. Okay, so for the chicken enchiladas, I'm going to be using three bags of chicken tenderloins. It's your preference, whatever type of meat you want to use. I'm going to use chicken tenderloins. I'm going to get them cleaned up, put them in one crock pot, let them slow cook all day with different seasoning, onions, and some, what is this? Green chilies. Okay, now for the beef, I'm going to get this cleaned up. Going to get it seasoning with some onions and bell pepper. Then I'm going to place them in a separate crock pot. Once we prepare the meat, we're going to just let this cook for the rest of the day. Now, with us waiting for this, it gives us time to prepare other things. Now, the masa, since it's already pre-made, we're just going to actually let it be room temperature. We're going to get one big bowl and place this in the big bowl. And then we're going to use the red chili sauce and the enchilada sauce. But this will be one of the last things that we do before we steam them, okay? So first thing, let's go ahead and get our meat seasoned up and get them inside both crock pots. All right, now that I have my meat seasoned and have everything cut up and put into the crock pot, I went ahead and placed the chicken in one crock pot. I am actually going to be using three bags. I just put two in here right now because it's already kind of overflowing. I have my bell peppers, my onions, my garlic, and my green chilies cut up inside. And then now if you can notice for the roast, I've already seasoned the roast, put my bell peppers, onions, and green chili on top as well. I used one bottle of water and just placed everything in there. And now we're going to put it on low and just put the lids on it. We'll be back to check this later on this afternoon. But we are going to be letting this cook for the rest of the night. All right. So we'll see you guys in a minute. 